let's see now how graph of concentration versus time for first order reaction looks like you know for first order reaction k equal to 2.303 by t into log of r not by r this uh, now convert this uh, logarithm of base 10 to the logarithm of base c for that we have to divide uh, divide this equation by 2.303 then you will get k equal to 1 by t ln of r naught by r now take this t this side take this t this, this side kt equal to ln r naught by r in this step only you can draw the graph that is ln r naught by r versus time see it is uh, similar as y equal to mx i will also show graph for this one also and one more thing we can do let's see that one <coughs> just i rearrange ln r naught by r equal to kt see ln r naught by r we can write it as ln r naught minus ln r because log of m by n equal to log m by log log m minus log n so that equal to kt see now express this uh, equation in terms of uh, ln r so ln r equal to minus kt plus ln r naught see this equation looking almost similar to y equal to mx plus c see here uh, y is uh, independent dependent variable x is independent variable see in this equation t is independent variable and lnr is dependent variable see in this equation c is intercept intercept and y axis and m is slope see in this equation ln r naught is intercept on y axis and uh, minus k is slope so this equation is almost same as y equal to mx plus c but thing is here a slope is m positive here slope is negative that is minus k and you draw the graph of uh, ln r versus time you will get like this and a graph of ln r versus time you will get like this with uh, intercept on y axis as ln r naught and slope equal to minus k you will get a graph like this if you draw a graph for uh, this e this equation graph will be different see when you draw log of r naught by r versus time graph will be like this here there will be compensating so only graph is showing you like this when you draw graph of log r naught by r versus time graph will be like this it is almost similar to y equal to mx okay